Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the ice bin drum on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to remove the ice bin assembly from the refrigerator. So we're simply going to open up the freezer, take that unit out, we'll empty the ice out of the bin, and then we'll let the unit warm up enough to room temperature, and then we can start the repair. Let's just lift up on that ice bin. Now we'll set that on a suitable work surface, and we can change out that drum. Now once that ice bin has warmed up a bit, we're then going to start by removing the front shroud on it. So locate two screws that are inside of the bin, and we'll remove those first. And we'll turn the unit upside down, and then we'll remove these two screws. Just lift that front shroud off and set that aside. Now next we'll need to release the actuator arm. So we'll start with the bracket at the back. Just remove the mounting screw. We're also going to remove these two screws that secure that bracket to the ice bin. Next, we'll remove these quarter inch hex head screws that secure that housing to the, that uh, metal bracket. And we'll just hold that assembly together after we remove those screws. And next, we're going to release this E ring on the front here. Just take a flat blade screwdriver and we'll pry that away from that nylon bushing. Just set that aside. Remove that thrust washer and set that aside. And then we can pull this cover off of the front We'll need to disengage that lever from the crusher door. And just set that aside. Now use caution around these blades as there are sharp edges there. So we're going to tuck that up out of the way. What we're going to do is pull that whole assembly away from the ice bin. And we'll disengage the bearing at the back. You can then pull that assembly out through that metal bracket. set the bin aside. Now we'll need to remove all of these crusher blades and the individual bushings between them so that we can change out that drum. Again, use caution on those blades because they're very sharp. We'll start with a pair of pliers and we're just going to loosen that nut. So just grip it gently with the pliers. Now it may be a good idea to take note of all of the location and orientation of these little bushings as well as the individual blades, both the rotating blades and the stationary blades before you disassemble that. Now with that nylon not removed, we'll just set that aside. We'll pull off the first blade and there'll need to be a letter or a number stamped into the side of that blade so that we can keep those in sequence. Spacer and these fixed blades come off together. And the last blade, 
Now we can pull that drum off. We'll discard the old one. Make sure the metal drive bracket is in good shape. Make sure it's not rounded out, and if so, sometimes you can take that and set it on a vise and just hammer it so that it tightens that gap up. Otherwise, you may need to replace that as well. Rotate that so that that drive block fits into the cutout. Now we'll begin the reassembly of the blades and bushings. Make sure that we install that first blade in the proper manner. On this one, all of the indicators were pointing towards the back. Use caution in installing that nylon nut. Make sure that we get that on straight without cross-threading it. Again, make sure that that metal drive block fits into the notched portion at the back of that drum. Tighten the nut securely. The fixed blade should move freely on that shaft if you have the bushings lined up properly. And now we're ready to put that assembly back into the ice bin. When reassembling, the first thing we're going to do is to put that bearing on the back of the auger. And we're going to tuck the blades out through the metal bracket. five of those blades are on the outside of that bracket. Then we'll line that bearing up with the recess at the back of the ice bin and press that into place. Then we'll take the folded edge of that bracket and we're going to set it across the top of the ice bin at the front. to put that front housing on. You'll note that there is a notched area in one portion there that the block or those fixed blades will fit into. Now with that bracket lined up, so it's the screw holes for the bottom mounting tabs are lined up with the ice bin, we'll just put those screws in to hold it in place. Insert it into the face of that bracket. There are a couple of pinch marks there and it has to fit in between those. I'm just gonna rotate that dry block up into place Slide that bracket over it. Now 
next we need to lift out on that ice chute door that presses up against those blades and we need to engage that actuator arm through that slot. marks on that shaft or on either side of that mounting bracket. Verify that the front of that shaft protrudes to the opening in that housing and then we're going to line up the three mounting holes. Hex head screws. And we'll tighten all three of those securely. Now next, we'll line up that actuator arm, verify that it stayed in place is attached to that door. Then we're going to hook this spring at the back so that it loops underneath that arm. Hook at the front end of that spring. It's going to tuck in behind that plastic tab. The mounting bracket will slide out over top of it until the screw hole lines up. If you have that installed correctly, that door should be pressed up against the blades until it gets actuated and it should spring firmly back into place. Next we'll place the thrust washer and the E-ring back onto the front. Using a pair of pliers, we just press that E ring down onto that plastic nut, and that will secure that. All that remains is to put the front scotch on back in place. So we'll line up those two screws at the bottom of it first. securely and then we'll put the two on on the inside. Now with those tightened securely we can then put that ice bin back into the freezer. So we'll take that bin, open the freezer door up we we'll want to make sure that we line up that bearing at the back with the auger drive. Slide it in place, it should lock firmly. Close the freezer door up and your repair is complete.